Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. It's my birthday. You might have to take them. Out. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video. So, very excitingly, Olivia is one very very soon and we're having a big birthday party for her at the house so this is going to be the first video in a little mini series all around her birthday and i just wanted to show you everything that i have bought for her first birthday party so we're having about 40 to 45 people come to the house so it's quite a big family party and it's a uh, sort of a garden party hopefully the weather's nice and yeah i've just been buying loads of little bits over the last few months so a few of them are um practical things so we've got these napkins and the party is fairy themed, so hopefully that comes across. I've also got Reuben here, and Olivia is literally just off camera here, running around, and Scott's trying to herd them, which is like herding cats. <laughs> Olivia's very interested in all of her birthday stuff. These are the napkins for the table. So we've got napkins, so we don't need to buy napkins. Dad, and you're gonna have to move out the camera, sweetheart. Go, go backwards, go to daddy. Okay, the next thing I got, so those were from a garden centre, the napkins. And I got this tablecloth from Tesco, again on the garden theme. I've got some happy birthday balloons. Uh, my sister got me this balloon or well, live this balloon arch so we're going to put this up i also got a b balloon and of course a number one so we've got happy birthday a b a number one and a balloon arch i got these um paper um pads with all different colored paper in um my idea is to make paper chains of these if I have time today so I've got two of those to make paper chains we got well I got some giant bubble swords from B&M for playing out in the garden because there's a few children coming so we've got some bubble ones these are from B&M um, the paper pads, these were from the range and the balloons are also from the range as well. Um, I got these little wooden fairies to put on food things. That again was from the range. They're so cute. These flowers to stick on Olivia's birthday cake that I'm making. Again from the range, this was actually an Easter de decor that was reduced to like 90 pence or something. So that was a good bargain. Um, we've also got, no, we wouldn't get out of the way. Um, another balloon arch, that's um, gold, green and white. Um, also got some more balloons for balloon arches. I've got these little mushroom steaks for the table. They're going to go in some flower pots, which I can I will show you. Um, that I've got with some flowers in. I've got this really cute little flower dish with a little bunny on it. Again, that was an Easter find. I think we should put hummus in this. Or bits. Um, again, more little um, picket fences for her fairy themed birthday cake, which obviously I'll be taking you along to me. And then we've got some straws. 
some candles for um, the candles on the table and then other little bits like some craft paper um, and bits and bobs. I also got two of these citronella candles to be staked in the ground by the barbecue area for ward off any bugs but we could put, probably put them in other um, pots on the patio actually to warm bugs off. So we've got two of these giant candles. I've also got a huge collect bunch of wisteria which Liv absolutely loves. A big long garland going up the stairs. I've got these um, twigs with like purple and green on. I'm going to untie this bunch and I'm going to use this as decoration on the table again. It's a woodland fairy theme so that's the vibe I'm going for. And then from the car boot sale I got two um, sweet jars um, to fill with sweets for people and then um, this one is filled with something I've done some DIY I've done a DIY which I'll show you later but let me go show you the things that we have outside that I've bought and then I'll take you on a little tour of what the house is looking like now the DIYs I've done and still need to do and yeah. So if you're a regular viewer of my channel you would know that in the last vlog we started to put these sofas up but we never actually managed to I either film it or it be sunny enough and not raining to show you. So we've got one sofa set up in the table then we've got another chair here. We still need to build the other chair so I don't think we're going to have time to do that today but we need to do that tomorrow or Friday or maybe Saturday morning. <laughs> we need to get the other chair. But um, maybe if Scott sits down in the chair you can model with Liv how wide it is. Is she eating a strawberry? Yeah. Just do it quickly soon because we don't want it. So look, look how massive it is. You can comfortably fit two people on it. Yeah, you do want it all to yourself. And this sofa is like probably is the same. It's like a, it's the same as a, as a single bed. It's massive. Anyways, these are the pots that I've bought to decorate the table with. Oh, that's not a very good light. Sorry. Go around here. Sit on the sofa. So just just plain terracotta pots, and then I put the violas that I bought um, in. Ruben's prancing around the garden so yeah th these these pots are going to go on the table inside and uh, I'm we're going to be buying going to be buying some flowers from the market on the morning of the party just to um you know something like gypsophilia and stuff <laughs> yeah hey, thank you for your party I did have four pots, but somebody, somebody pushed one of my terracotta pots off the wall and smashed it, didn't they? I wonder who that was. So, yeah, that's everything we've got. Um, I'm going to put some clips in now of me starting a DIY project and then once I put those clips in then I will catch you back with the update which I need to finish. Okay so I'm in the nursery and I'm about to start doing some DIY crafts for Olivia's first birthday party. Um, so I'm doing this about a month and a like six weeks before her birthday and I'm 
I'm trying to get organised basically because it's going to be a lot to do. But what I'm doing, actually I'm going to go backwards, it's so big. I'm making a giant 3D number one. So I've the box that her crib came in, I've cut it up. So I've got a, a front piece, a, a back piece and a front piece, the one. And then using the box, I've cut all the sides up. So I've got loads of cardboard. And basically we're just gonna stick it all together with some tape and I'm going to make a giant number one, hopefully. <laughs> then I'm gonna paint it with some leftover sample pot paint that we had from doing all the various DIYs that we've been doing in the house over the last three years. And then I'm going to stick all of her photos that we printed, got printed out, not all of them because there's literally thousands, but I've printed out a load of photos and I'm gonna stick them all to the front of the number one. So that's the plan. Um, so hopefully if this works. You'll find out, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, using the box that the crib came in, um, I think that was the best idea because it's quite big. And also because it had sides and stuff, it means I've got all the pieces to be able to stick it all together. Actually, I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing. So at the moment, I've got the two pieces and I'm just cutting them down to size so they're exactly the same size. Um, and then I'm gonna start from the base and I'm gonna build the base of the number one and then um, work my way up and do the sides and then do the top. And I'm hoping I can tape things from the inside so that the tape's not on the outside um, so it would be easier to paint paint the box. But yeah, I'm just making sure that the, num the front and the back of this number one are exactly the same, so it's easier to take them together.
So here is the number one as it stands. I just need to put the the top on, paint it. Oh, I forgot to show you my in my haul. I actually got this these wooden circles um, from Hobbycraft. They're only two pounds each, and I am going to be doing a DIY with them so we can use them to display food, which I will show you in due course. I also have, oh the, look, this is the cushion for the chair that we haven't built yet. Various parts all over the place. I also brought this lovely wooden display thing for food. But yes, so I need to stick the top of this number one on, paint it, and then I can um, stick all the photos on of Liv over the last year and that's going to go here and then we're going to have a balloon arch over here so it's going to sort of be a, a big balloon arch here and a big giant number one so people can have nice photos of Liv but yeah the house is in various stages of complete chaos so we've moved the table over to here I say we it was Scott I literally could not lift that at all like could not lift it it weighs so like it's so ridiculously heavy I mean it is a massive table and it's so solid but yeah this is what the the dining room looks like currently and then the living room oh sneak peek hallway panels the living room looks like chaos now because all my stuff is everywhere so I need to sort that Kitchen, again, it's chaos. We're starting to get things ready. Um, we actually need to get our drinks containers down. We need to get this bowl down for food. I need to get that bowl down for food. But, and we've got some plastic cups from other parties. So that all needs doing. The conservatory, again, is in a bit of chaos because we're mid renovating well mid decorating the hallway and um, so that's all that diy stuff has been in here so that's just gone and now we just need to sort this out and clean it and yeah the garden is looking okay i i still got some clippings here of, that i need to put away that i did yesterday as a tidy but i cut the grass yesterday and it always makes the garden look so much nicer and the plants coming out so yeah things are chaotic but we're getting there so it's thursday and we have just arrived at costco so it's taken us about what two hours hour and a half yeah about an hour. hour and a half to drive here olivia's been asleep the whole time she's still asleep now so we're gonna get her out um, and yeah, we're going to go around Costco, get all the bits that we need for the party and then when we get home I will show you our little Costco haul. Okay, so we're back home and as promised I'm going to take you through a Costco haul. Everything we bought for Olivia's birthday party. As I mentioned, we have, we're catering for 45 people, so quite a lot and we got lots of different options and we also got breakfasty things for the day after for um, people who are staying over at various places in our town so they can come the morning after as well so bear that in mind when you see how much we've actually bought <laughs> but it is quite the haul definitely so I'm just going to get everything out of the bags because we need to see what we've got because we need to rearrange lots of different things in different areas to be able to fit all of this in. But Ruben's just there knocking at the door because he wants to go out. So I'm going to, in our barbecue area, we have a working mini, I wouldn't even say a mini fridge. It's the size of a normal fridge. Um, not as big as this fridge freezer here, which is our normal fridge freezer, but it's, you know, pretty standard size you know fridge so I'm gonna go turn that on now so that's cooling down so we can store other things in there as well we are so happy to have the outside fridge 
we need to get a chest freezer eventually but yeah having a spare fridge and a spare freezer godsend so i'm gonna let Ruben out turn that fridge on get everything out and then show you our haul so we've got all of this and all of this so let me take you through we've got potatoes lemons limes peppers four bags of salad we've got mixed herbs and olive oil a new drinks dispenser because our other one which is there we had another one of them broke we've got baguettes strawberries blackberries two of each a big jar of couscous grapes three punnets of blueberries croissants donuts danish pastries cookies oat milk coke and lemonade wooden cutlery we got three big things of chicken so there's 10 portions of chicken in each one then we've got three of those we've got loads of bacon three pots of tatsiki a pot of greek yogurt some um stalk which is what you make uh it's like special butter for making cakes because i need to make olivia's birthday cake still two big bags of fries two big punnets of tomatoes red onions uh gourmet crackers brie olives cheddar halloumi a big thing of feta a selection of cheeses and big two big selections of cold meats so that's absolutely everything we got a huge 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 haul and now we just need to find somewhere to put it don't we yep the plan is to have charcuterie so cheese and cold meats and um salad uh and picky bits so yeah uh charcuterie board then we um have like a normal garden salad um then we're going to do a big thing of couscous my best friend is bringing a greek salad and my auntie is bringing a rice salad as well so we have different salads so that's all going to be out for when people start arriving and then for because the party sort of midday-ish goes on till i've said seven but reality is it's sort of like late so it's like an all-day thing so for the sort of evening dinner we're going to be making everybody chicken or halloumi suvalaki so that's a flatbread then you put tatsiki on then you either put halloumi or chicken or a bit of both that's all marinated in herbs and onions and lemon juice and it's absolutely delicious then you put chips on then you can put a bit of salad on and then crumble feta over and it's our absolute favorite food it's really good you get it at festivals all the time it's really good like it's something that everyone will enjoy and you can like pick bits out that you don't like and sort of you make we're going to do it as a build your own sort of thing um so we've got all that and then puddings are going to be like the donuts the, the cookies i'm making um a three-tiered cake and each tier has three layers so nine layers of cake <laughs> and then we've got all all the fruit as well and yeah and then it's bring your own drinks so that's why we own, we've got lemonade because we're doing pims for everybody and we'll be doing mint and cucumber water which is why we need two drink dispensers and then yeah but doing like pastries and bacon and eggs um and coffee and tea and stuff the morning after for people so we still have a bit to get we still need to buy flatbreads orange juice apple juice we need dips and hummus and a few other like little bits here and there which we're going to get from Lidl and Tesco tomorrow but we could have got them today but we're just fed up with shops up today so we're going to put this all away now 
and then we're going to take Olivia and Ruben for a walk because Ruben's been on his own a lot today while we've been doing all this shopping and then we're back straight back into Scott's looking after the babies and I'm going to crack on cleaning and starting to decorate and then we do it all again tomorrow as well <laughs> so obviously taking you all along with us but yeah hope you like to see this uh, Costco food haul um, I'm excited to eat all of it not excited to put it all away <laughs> Day today, which is at nursery. We're picking her up um, at one o'clock. She's having a half day today because we don't want her to be too tired for the party tomorrow. But my main aim for this morning's activities are to bake her cakes. So I will put a little inspiration picture here of what I'm going to try and make. But because we're having so many people, I'm going to be doing three tiers, and each tier will have three layers. I'm hoping anyway. So um, first here's going to be chocolate and that's the one flavour I'm not confident with baking so I've just bought a cake mix. So I'm going to do that one first. So that's going to be chocolate and raspberry. The second layer is just going to be a Victoria sponge with cream and jam and strawberries in the middle. And then the top tier is going to be a lemon, lime and elderflower cake with lemon curd in the middle. So three different tiers, three layers in each tier and three different flavours. So I've got a lot to do, <laughs> but hey ho. Lou, so I'm going to crack on, I've, I've already got the oven on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the chocolate one because the mix is just here and I can have that in the oven, get that whizzed up in the oven um, and baking while I'm making the mixtures for the other cakes. So I've got so much to do I'm going to put you on a little time lapse. I actually have a mixer here that my mum um, gave me. This was hers but she never even took it out of the box. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm using it so I don't have a lot to do with my you know manual cake making which is good. And yeah, I'm just going to crack on because we have a lot to do today. Hello everybody, so it's much later on and we've got Auntie Kelly is here helping. My mum and dad are also here. Things are still very chaotic but we're getting there with stuff. Cleaning things are almost finished, so we're almost on to decorating. We've managed to get all the chairs set set up. So there's one here. Uh, the second chair is here and then the sofa. And Libby has started to receive some birthday presents. So she's got this sand pit, some sand and then the some buckets and spades and stuff, which she's absolutely loving already. She's just playing with her pram at the moment with daddy so I started to do some decorating here this is going to be the centerpiece on the table flowers and the mushrooms and dad's cut the grass so that's all looking nice I'm guessing you don't want to be on YouTube do you here are the grandparents 
<laughs> now you're taking. Oh, you, you look. You're one sock, Livy. Just like your dad. Mom, we're busy. Very busy. So, we've still got dining room to do, in here to do, barbecue area to do, but here is a uh, one layer of many, and this is, I've started to build the cake. I need to cut this one down so it's a bit smaller than this bottom tier. But that's one, two, three, four, five layers of cake I've done. And I need to make another one, two, three. I need to make another four layers. So that's what I'm going to do now. Still got all the baking stuff up. And once I've done all the cake baking, I just need to let them cool. I'm decorating the cake tomorrow morning before the party. So um, it's nice and fresh. And then, so yeah, so bake these four layers of cake. Then I'm going to start on the decorating. And then my best friend and her husband are coming to help with decorating as well. So yeah, so between me, Scott, my mum and dad, my best friend, her husband, and Aunt Kelly, we should be able to get everything done. But there's still quite a long list to go, so... I will crack on and show you a bit later on. We're stopping at five o'clock. So from five till six, we're stopping doing everything. We're gonna be opening Libby's cards, her presents, and me and Scott have got a bottle of champagne and we're gonna be popping the champagne at 5.25 because that's when Olivia was actually born. So between five and six, we're just sort of having a, like a mini party and then probably have to carry on doing all the decorating and stuff but that's fine so yeah getting there okay well, so it's now 5 25 so it's the exact time that Liv was born so we're going to open the champagne but Olivia is fast asleep upstairs <laughs> ready ready <laughs> good catch ribbon <laughs> yes. oh. yay Sister! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Mwah. Best mama and dada. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How wonderful it all is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Take a swig on. <laughs> you got Busy. <laughs> oh, I went up my nose. <laughs> the bubbles. Oh, no, no. It's nice. Yeah. I don't think it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think <thank> it. <laughs>